right, we got some 3D printed brake pads that we stuck on this old Ford Focus. We're gonna take it for a drive and see what they're like. So here's the 3D printed brake pad. It is very similar to the original and we have two of them. So we're gonna put it on here and clean up the rotor and uh, test it out. So here we just had to file down the ears on this to get it to fit perfectly. All right. Put these in. Oh, I might have to push the, uh, no, like a glove. Like a glove, okay. Now I gotta get these uh, hex keys started. So we were just driving around with them in there, just seeing how they stop. Oof, squealy, but they work. Pretty squeaky. So I know they're only on the one wheel, but does it feel any different for braking? Uh, the brakes were pretty stiff to begin with, yeah. but I mean, it slows down, so. <laughs> All right, we got some 3D printed brake pads for this old Ford Focus, and we're gonna see how well they hold up. Damn. I had to do it in, uh, it went uh, 320. It was doing 320 kilometers an hour on that wheel. It really didn't like, like it started chewing the pads, but it didn't, uh, I'm surprised it didn't like catch fire, but I guess uh, it didn't get hot enough. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't like explode. I'm like so shaky right now. Yeah. <laughs> it was getting really loud, I backed way up. Yeah, the transmission made some funny noises. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, so now the other wheel's spinning. So I'm guessing uh, something in the diff messed up. No. Can I put the wheel on it and just drive it and see what it drives like? Yeah, do that. Okay, so we're just putting the wheel back on right now. The, uh, the differential inside of the trans transmission um, does not sound happy. It was making a bunch of grinding noises, so. I think it's kind of, it could be screwed up, but we're going to stick this wheel back on and just drive it and see what it drives like. The pads are pretty melted. Yeah. I got no front brake pedal. Or 
Yeah, it kind of breaks loose as you let go. Yeah. Let go again. Yeah. And it leaves a clean spot where it was on. <laughs> Take them off and see what they look like? Yeah. I'll pull it in with the bag. Hi. Just got back to the shop and the brakes are pretty hot because I think they were sticking on the rotor when it was uh, being driven even without the brakes pressed. That's the rotor. So here it is with it off the... <laughs> I'm going to turn it. fibers down there oh yeah look at that the ear yeah that's what I noticed too the ears bent way back oh baby <laughs> wore right through actually just to the point where uh, it hasn't even chewed into the piston on the caliper yet that's hilarious. Gonzo. Yep, right down to the, uh, the steel backing plate of the, of the brake pad. Ooh, all that melted. <laughs> it's stuck in there real good. Oh. Dang, man. The rotor's just <laughs> coated in it. Uh, that's hilarious. So, verdict 3D brake pads, not a very good thing. So, it looks like the design of the brake pad itself, uh, the meaty section is not completely solid. Surprisingly though, they held up a lot better than I thought. Like I figured for sure the ears would have just like melted right off. I thought for sure they'd just catch on fire. But like the plastic itself, I'm not exactly sure if it's uh, what kinds of their PLA, uh, whatever, whatever that they use for 3D printing. I don't know what kind it is, but it held up a lot better than I thought. But definitely not road worthy. No. Let me know what uh, car parts you want me to 3D print next. Throw them down in the comments.